This video will be on the topic rewriting a linear equation in the form ax plus by equals c. Before we can do this, this is called standard form. And before we can get it in the standard form, there's something we need to know about a, b, and c. a, b, and c cannot be decimal numbers and they cannot be fractions. They must be whole integers. They can be positive or negative, but they have to be integers. No fractions, no decimals. However, A is special. A must not be negative. The A should always be positive, okay? So the first thing we wanna do to get ours into that form is get rid of the fraction which means we'll need to multiply every term by the common denominator four. So when I do that, I end up with four y equal to four over four x plus 20. Or if you're used to reducing, canceling that way, you'll just end up with one x or x. The one is usually never written in the as the coefficient. However, notice that in the standard form, x is on the left side of the equal sign. So I need to get this x to the left. To do that, I would have to minus x on both sides. So I get a negative x and a positive 4y on the left, and I still have a positive 20 on the right. I almost have what I need. Notice that a is the integer negative 1, b is the integer positive 4, and c is the integer 20. However, the a is negative right now. To change that, what you can do is divide each term by a negative 1, or you can multiply each term by a negative 1. Essentially, what you're going to end up doing is changing the sign of every term. So a negative divided by negative will cause it to turn positive. A positive divided by a negative will turn negative. And a positive divided by a negative will turn negative. So essentially all I did was make sure that if I was gonna change the sign of this term, I had to change the sign of all the terms, okay? Now the equation is in standard form. You have the integer positive one, the integer negative 4, and the integer negative 20. Now we have successfully written this expression or this equation in the correct form.